A LATE CHANGE FOR FAMILIES IN CHELSEA. ELEMENTARY SCHOOLS THERE WILL BE CLOSED ON MONDAY, JUNETEENTH, AFTER WBZ STARTED ASKING QUESTIONS ABOUT WHY THEY WERE SUPPOSED TO BE OPEN. Yeah, WBZ'S MIKE SULLIVAN SHOWS US WHY THE DISTRICT PLAN TO HOLD CLASSES DESPITE THE FACT THAT MONDAY IS A FEDERAL HOLIDAY. Hmm. IT'S AN ABRUPT TURNAROUND FOR CHELSEA SCHOOLS. AS OF THIS MORNING, ELEMENTARY STUDENTS WERE GOING TO BE IN CLASS ON JUNETEENTH, A FEDERAL HOLIDAY TO MEMORIALIZE THE LAST ENSLAVED PEOPLE IN THE COUNTRY. ALL OF THAT JUST FELT LIKE A SLAP IN THE FACE TODAY. IN NOVEMBER, A WATER MAIN BREAK AT THE MARY BURKE ELEMENTARY COMPLEX FOR STUDENTS TO MISS TWO DAYS OF EDUCATION. INSIDE THAT BUILDING, THERE ARE FOUR DIFFERENT ELEMENTARY SCHOOLS. BY STATE LAW, THOSE STUDENTS NEED TO MAKE UP THOSE DAYS. Reps for Chelsea schools say they gave the teachers' union a survey with three holidays and an extra summer day. The teachers were told to pick two. The district says the teachers overwhelmingly chose Juneteenth and the extra summer day. I think the decision was made last year in November. Folks didn't really think about that until you know parents were got the information or the text as a reminder. Joan Cromwell is the president of Chelsea Black Community. The organization putting on a large Juneteenth celebration at Washington Park in Chelsea. She had no idea the students would be in class until we spoke with her. That's when she contacted the district. I made several calls and had conversations and um, and and painful conversations because just reflecting on what that means and the ripple effect. She says the district has always been an ally promoting diversity, equity, and inclusion. That's why it felt so surprising. Yes, it did. At least two parents we spoke with say they were going to hold their children out of school anyway. Every Martin Luther King day in January, we stayed home until it became a legal holiday. And that's what it kind of felt like when parents were calling me to say, you know what, I'm just not sending my kid to school that day. This afternoon, Chelsea schools changed plans, telling teachers and parents that the school will be closed. The day will be made up by an early release day on Thursday. In a statement, they said they regret making Juneteenth an option in the survey. Cromwell is glad this was caught sooner than later. Then it would have been a very unfortunate day, Monday, and then, um, you know, the ripple effect. In Chelsea, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.